In this video, I'm going to show you how you can retrieve emails from an external file with VBA in Excel. So let's say you have a big database of sales that have happened and now you've filtered out, um, uh, for example, the freight charges that are, um, that are listed here. Now you're looking at it and these people have, um, these salespeople have majorly over or undercharged on the, on the shipping chart. And so uh, the freight charges for their product that they're um, selling. And what they're going to have to do is they are going to have to approach each of these, um, each of these clients and tell them that they're, they undercharged on the freight and it'll have to be higher. So now that you've got this out of your, um, your sales database, you'd like to know how to get a hold of these guys. Now this, in this example, we only have uh, seven, seven here, but you can have hundreds on here and you, you would be able to easily pick up their email addresses from another file. So I'm going to click on get email. Now I've asked this all the time. So I've put the button on, on my, uh, on my sheet by clicking on here. And then I go and I select this button here. When I put this button on here, it asks me what um, file I'd like to tie to this button. And so if we right click on here, it, it says assign macro and the macro I have called is copy email. And so you say, okay, fine. And then you go, um, so let's, let's click on that get email button. And it asks you what the file is that you would like to uh, use. And I'm going to use a file called contacts. And there you are, your email has been retrieved from the other file. So now let me show you how I did this. Um, so here's my other file and it has uh, made up names and made up emails, of course. Um, and so let's go to the code. Okay, so it's copy email, um, row and row number, um, all is long, name is a string, end row and last row is long, report sheet. Report sheet is the sheet that I'm working on, the sheet that has the code in it. And source is the worksheet that I'm selecting and home is a workbook. And so what I'm doing is I'm setting this, uh, this workbook, which is the workbook that has the code in it to home. And so now, now what I'm doing is I'm setting report sheet equals home worksheet sheet one. And then I have a message box asking to pick up what the file is. Um, and so if, it, if you don't pick up a file, then it, then it exits sub. But then um, workbook, workbooks upload, workbooks open upload file and set source to the active workbook that you just opened. Now, um, report sheet activate, end row equals uh, sheet one, cells row count, end up row, and row equals two because I have headings on this. For row equals two to end row, name equals report sheet um, column seven value. And so now we're going over to our sheet that we just uploaded and um, I'm going to activate it and then I'm going to set it and I'm going to search for this. Um, I'm searching for finding the name in the, in the list of names there. Um, and if it doesn't find anything, then it goes to Andy, which is down there or else what it's going to do is whatever it finds the name that's, uh, the row number is the range row email equals source, which is our uploaded file worksheet contact cells row number and um, three value report sheet activate so now i'm going back to my basic sheet report sheet cells equals this is where um, where i want the email to appear and the value is the email um, then it goes on go to the next person and then we'll keep going around until it has completed i will of course include the code in the description of my video Please subscribe.